Hello and welcome to the week five mat uh week five set the match or matches of oh my god uh Omega 3 versus Tempora Tantrum. I am here I am Hard Salatoster. I am joined today by Pippi, who I need to very quickly go and add to the commentator list. Appreciate you. Not a problem. So, Pippi, how are you doing today? How, uh... I, I'm, I'm doing good. I'm pretty excited for the match. Um, this is a super high-stakes match. Um, if uh, Omega-3 wins, then they make it into the playoffs. If they lose, they do not. I believe, yeah, so they have a, a sub right now in uh, Frag Proof. He's, uh, he's a really strong player. And the, uh, let's see. Yeah, the other team is, uh, they do not, Tempura Tantrum does not have a sub. There, there was some, uh, talk that they would also be using a sub if they have their full team. Um, how, how are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. Pretty excited to see this match. I was actually not aware of the stakes that were, uh, that we're at, at risk to, for today's match, so that uh, no, kind of generates some hype for me. No, it, it does. It generates a lot of hype. So basically, the way the standings worked uh, was Omega-3 was guaranteed in if uh, Bog Beast lost their first game, but Bog Beast did not. So or Bog Beast won earlier tonight, so now they uh, they have to win in order to win. Um, Alright, so let's look at the comps. Frag is running his uh, signature uh, range blaster. We have a bamboo and an, an orange zap and a junior. Well, what, what do you oh dear. I hit the wrong button. No! Uh, help. Uh, why do I always manage to do this myself? I really should have practiced. Ooh, okay. that was an excellent wipeout from Frag. Yeah. yeah, great job. So yeah, they are... Um, they're kind of um, See here, we have BT... Sorry, I was just say I, I do think Omega 3 comp is kind of strange. Like, they have frags you can play, and then the other ones are like. Like, I guess the bamboo is kind of aggressive too. You have a much more traditional comp. And, uh. What's the uh, yeah. Temporary tantrum. That's fair. Oh, it looks like okay. Tempora. Uh, it looks like Tempora Tantrum has actually managed to put Omega Three back on the defense, but it looks like Omega Three did manage to go and pop the uh, Splat Zone yeah. again. That's one benefit to what Omega Three is running. True. It looks like BT is still able, even with uh, Omega taking the position that they have, BT is still able to go in and out of the zone and apply a lot of pressure, getting them to move in places they may not want to be. It's really nice to see that from a good frontline slayer. Yeah, so this looks like this should be a... And if anyone in the chat can tell me the button combination so that it automatically switches between people, please, for the love of God, tell me. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you. It looks like t uh, it looks like Omega Three is managing to get it to below uh, half of the remaining score for Tempora Tantrum. Yeah, oh, thank you, Kevin. Price, like, right now. Um, they're real, they're, they're, 
Um, I don't know if that's gonna be it. Okay, there's a pick. Ooh. Oh, they oh, maybe, maybe. Does that? Ah, oh, that booyah bomb did not buy them enough to do it. Unfortunate. That is one. Match one goes to Tempora Tan or uh, not Tempora Tantrum. Excuse me. Omega three. So I mean that. I mean that was. I would say a pretty, like I, I would say a fairly convincing performance. Um, they, they were in control for most of the match, even if it, the, the score did, or the, the zone did flip a couple times. But what did you think? I liked it. it even though, even though the scores were the way they were, with uh, Tempora Tantrum in uh, high 50s, low 60s towards the end, it did kind of feel evenly matched from what I was seeing. So I, I would be more inclined to believe that this was, I uh, this was like that first match kind of shake it off rather than indicative of anything in particular. I think we have some interesting matches ahead uh, for us. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, I would say that I, I am interested to see if like what kind of weapon changes we get. From Omega Three specifically, like, is the Junior is that like a fixture of their comp, or are they going to be sw swapping that off? And then, you know, obviously, what uh, what changes can for a tantrum makes. True, true. It could be the Tempora tantrum just rolls with what they know works. I know I've done. I know in uh, the previous tournament when I was playing with uh, my boys, Stickleback Shoal, shout out to Stickleback if you're in here, um, we we didn't change too, too much from what we were doing, except the major change up that we did towards the end of the tournament, where I ended up pulling out the sploosh and we just said, you know what, Let's, boys, I don't know how it's going to go, if we're going down, let's have fun with it. Ah, I see a pickle. But, um, yeah, there's nothing wrong with sticking with what works, nothing wrong with changing it up if you feel that you need yeah. to. They, I do see, they, so it does look like, um, Tempura Tantrum is, is kind of deciding here. It may be that they, they want something specific to answer the range blaster. Just because other than my teammate Yosa, I don't think there's really that many range blasters in the tournament. True. So we haven't, yeah, I don't know that anyone's really super practice for that. And I do remember Range Blaster is a particularly nasty weapon. Uh, we'll see uh, We'll see what they end up doing for it this time. Oh, they do. They counter it with a rapid. I love that. Actually. Ooh. Oh, no. That, he, that He's the one playing the rapid. Okay. See, I see. Okay, there we go. Hit the right button this time. I did not do the, uh, the uh, non-auto rotate. Looks like starting off, Tempora Tantrum is going and establishing a very quick, or not Tempora Tantrum, excuse me, Omega-3 is establishing a very quick and early advantage. They've got the checkpoint, they're over at checkpoint one. Yeah, okay, yeah, that, that's two down. Um, on the side of, uh, on the but it looks like I uh, looks like Omega Three did have two down, by Tempora Tantrum eight flipped. So this is these teams are. I, I don't know how to take them. I I'm going. I think I'm going to be enjoying this as much as the crowd is. Yeah. Um, Towers at so mid. Junior, Junior burns a bubble. Didn't really get that much out of it. Too, but I'm not sure it's pushing. But, okay, yeah, the strikes are coming out. That's good. That's a lead change. But, oh, there's there's another... But, who am I kidding? Junior gets others with us. Um, I do like how both teams have a junior. I think that's pretty smart, considering it's, it's, fairly, it's strong on power, and it's a way to get more paint. True. And it did just get a uh, recent buff. Yeah. Thank you, Hamachi. I uh, forgot to hit the right button. Apparently, even taking two uh, two weeks off from streaming kills your uh, reflexes. This is really a back and forth match, though. Eighty-one to eighty-three. It's honestly, it's anyone's game. Oh, that trade between BT and I missed who uh, BT traded with. 
Yeah, this is a this same. So the the junior from uh, Omega Three has set up the the bubbler in the same spot as last time, and once again it was completely shut down the push. I wonder how um, uh, Tempura is gonna adapt to that going forward. True. Very true. Oh, we got a rope. We got one of the chickens up. It looks like temp. Ah, oh, it looks like Omega Three is pushing Tempor of Tintrum back towards their rotating base. Ah, oh, the unfortunate failed tactical or throw. Oh, they're all on tower though. That's a rest. Ooh, that's dangerous. Oh, the the wipeout. Well, now it's Tempor Tantrum's uh, chance to go and take over and get some significant points on the board. Yeah, they need. I, I want to see Tempor Tantrum. Good job. They're storing the fire. Ooh, but they got pushed up. Yeah, they, they need. Someone needs to go support Nezu. Like, Nezu's really good but for the Panther Storm down stuff. I would say that's. That's the unfortunate drawback of needing a sub is that. Is not having enough time to practice with your sub as you would your standard teammates. So definitely a challenge they need to overcome. Um, yeah, uh, let's see, so... Yeah, Ooh. Frag, frag is over the plate with that, uh, that basket. Let's see. True. It looks like Omega-3 is uh, maintaining their lead at this. Yeah. Okay, that's... So Tempura has protected the checkpoint temporarily. We've got to jump into the tower. Let's see if... Uh, Alright, they, they've repelled the tower. Oh, that's... I mean, they're... Yeah, it's okay. The numbers are... Pretty... Yeah, four four. Four four. I feel like what would end up helping Tempora Tantrum the most right now would be some attempts to go and uh, uh, to have a Slayer play more of a skirmisher role and go and harass Omega-3's backline. Yeah, just thinking that too, like Omega-3's uh, bamboozler is just like causing mayhem there, just standing slightly behind the, the line. And the, the longest range from Tempura Phantom has is the, the shot, the, 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 the pro. And that's not enough, especially when they've also got a, a rapid. Very true. On the plus side though, Tempora Tantrum is managing to maintain a very solid defense while Omega-3 has managed to get up on towards their spinning platform multiple times. I believe uh, chat is correcting me and saying roof. Um, they have managed to repeal the, repel them several times they, they and just kept roll. them from getting it into base. Yeah, they, 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 Frag's uh, inkjet was, yeah. Just going off there. Um, I, I guess maybe they need. I don't know what what they needed to do there. I, I really think that that they needed something with more range in the pro. Otherwise, that was just going to keep happening. Um, so all right. So you're. So tell me. So you are tempura tantrum right now. You're down 0-2 in the match. What are what are your thoughts? Kind of how how do you mm -hmm. how do you pose yourself and then start looking to to turn this around so if i'm tempora tantrum i think really the the problems that i need to go and tackle are i need to worry about the bamboozler which is always a pain and the blaster it doesn't I, at this point it doesn't matter which blaster we see pulled out their blaster user knows the weapons quite well, and those weapons are very evidently dangerous in the right hands. So figuring out how to go and deal with those, I'd almost wonder if trying to anticipate which blaster gets pulled out, maybe go and have a, uh, maybe, not a charger, excuse me, um, uh, maybe go and pull out a Splatling. Not quite a Hydra Splatling, unless you're willing to take the ultimate backline, but pull out a spl uh, pull out a Splatling 
Uh, heavy splatling could be good for allowing mobility, or if you want to go and deal with, if you want to go and enjoy the new buffs on the Hydra, that could be good to allow you to have more range than they do, so you have more opportunities to take them out before they take out your teammates. Yeah, I, but, I agree. I, I feel like they, they do have a backline player, right? Like, I think I played them, I feel like there was a backline, but I might just be dumb. Um... I, I will be an entirely honest. I do not remember their comp well enough at this particular moment in time. It's yeah, I, I definitely... Oh, Hamachi in the chat has a very interesting, uh, some very interesting suggestions as well. Stringer or Blah Blobber, those could yeah. be pretty good too. Blah Blobber it's controls good. space like nothing else, and Stringer is just plain fun. Okay, so Omega-3s... Um... They, they've replaced their uh, um, their junior and on the yep. other side. Looks like a junior. Uh, it looks like instead we have the Intap and the uh, splat. Not the sploosh. The uh, splash. Splash o -matic. Um. All right. So Tempura Tantrum gets the pop. Let's see if they can get anything off of that. Oh, they got a pick on the. Uh, Yep, Tempora Tantrum got a pick on Omega-3. Oh, it looks yeah, like... They're, they're trying to take it right Oh, off. dude! Tempora oh, Tantrum taking the uh, taking the quick checkpoint. Very nice Tempura to Tantrum see. I'm just not caring that I was doubting them at all. Like, oh yeah, I watch it. Alright. Oh, that wait, is a one. very That's good way to play. Okay. Get yeah, some maybe. very quick points on the board. I mean, 23 is absolutely a, a potential win push. That, I don't like that jump. Probably just gonna die. Um. The only problem with the point that Tempora Tantrum has put themselves at right now is you have two options. You can continue to play offensively, at which point, you know, uh, you run the risk of making simple mistakes over time. Either making simple mistakes, or, uh, or you go and nab the win, or you play defensively. But at three and a half minutes, I don't know if defensive would be the right move. That would be a lot to ask for. So just getting infinite value off this. Uh, that's. Oh, we did Let's take a there. quick look at the map. But it looks like Tempora Tantrum. Yeah. They are managing to maintain ink control. That dodge, even though it didn't work in the end, that smooth, very quick swim dodge, that was amazing to watch. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, Nezu is, is yeah, was able to farm down. Booyah Bomb went and uh, just denied the Rainmaker. Yeah, we... We've got Zooka's out. This is going crazy. Okay, they're two down again. I mean, they can. They, this is another push right now. Three down. Zooka's yeah, this is the time to push. That, I mean, they might even get a. a, a Bamboozler down. It looks like they are choosing to go for the aggressive option, which not a bad option and for he certain. Just decided that he's gonna like win this game, and nothing's gonna stop him. Like he's just going crazy. He's bullying them. They're all jumping. I fully agree with you. I'm watching. I'm watching Nezzy squid roll to squid roll, and just, I am impressed. One hundred percent. They can. They can keep. Oh, but they're, they're two down now. Oh dear. Oh my God! Go go go! Go! go. Okay. Good I'm job, Tentora Tantrum. The quick points in the beginning, and they managed to pull off that win at the end under very difficult circumstances. Well deserved. Other than Nezu just being a monster, what what do you think happened there? Like, uh, like, I mean, it, so I mean, they, they there was the comp change from Omega Three, right? Um, they didn't have the bubbler, which was causing trouble for uh, Tempura in the first games i wonder what what else i think you know, part, see what, what happens i think part of what we saw was we saw temporo tantrum they uh, if anything i would feel like 
they went into a mode that they knew they could dominate in, and they picked the loadout for speed, which picking speed for um, uh, for Rainmaker is absolutely a smart move because it, you know it just gets your team to a point quicker, and. Uh, Blitzkrieg is a very effective strategy when you were in a, you know, playing chess or something of the like. So, I, I 100% that... Europe. Hmm? And also when you're trying to take over Europe. Yeah, but I don't think anyone wants to take over Europe. I certainly don't. <laughs> but yes, no, uh, Blitzkrieg, like, that, that strategy for Rainmaker... 100% worked and I, I would even go so far as to say it seemed like they perhaps plan uh, they had practiced what exactly they were going to do on that map they knew the exact routes they wanted to take so they picked the loadout and the gear that would get them to those points quickly and they just they 100% pulled one over on Omega 3 yeah, I, I, I do wonder if, if Omega 3's like standard blaster uh, bamboo core that they've they've been so successful with. I do think that that's not like the best map for either of those weapons. I might be wrong though because I don't play them, but I, d I don't really see them played very often there. So there's probably a reason. Okay, let's go going straight into it here. Wow, uh, we have Zion saying in tap let Nezu go crazy. Yeah, I uh, think you got something there, Zion. Okay, so yeah, so they're sticking with the zap. Uh, they're sticking with the same. Oh no, Nezu went to brush. Okay, let's let's cook. Yeah. Let's see what he does here. And then see Omega what the cooking does. Frag went back to the range blaster, so you know he's gonna drop like 15 kills without a lose. Um, and it looks like Urs went to the uh, junior. Yeah, the junior. That's great. Oh, it, okay. The the neo splash already has strikes. Uh, okay, that's just two battles. All right, bubble pop. Ooh. Ren goes down to the. Oh. Ren went down to the brush, then. Or, uh, then our Nezu's brush goes down to the bamboozler. Yeah. Okay, so, um. Hmm. Both teams have one special kind of ready to go. Uh, the, pop, the whale was popped. I would say that at this particular point, Omega-3 is probably in the better position because they do have 18 clams to Tempora Tantrum's 18. Or, uh, 8, not 18, excuse me. Yeah, oh, they, two down on Omega-3. That'll help even out the odds. And they, and they have enough clams to push. They can go. They do. Oh, wait, Cam named Cam named oh. Omega clam. Oh, oh right before the power clam too. Um, okay, so let's see. let's see how uh, how Omega Three is able to capitalize here. They've got they've got a, a power clam already made. So, yeah, make your make your clams before you push. That's why this is. One of the nice things about Wahoo World for clam blitz, the amount of places that you can shark very easily. And I think we are seeing quite a bit of that, particularly under these bridges. So, the teams have basically reset back to neutral. Um, Tempura has slight positioning over them, maybe, but not really. And, they, they, and as I say that, uh, Omega 3 pushes them in my head. Oh, but they're two down again. You know, I've noticed it seems like Tempura's getting a lot of fix, but they're not so far able to score. Let's see if they can fix that. Uh, yeah, this is definitely a yeah. It can be very difficult to capitalize on creating an advantage for yourself, but it looks like we're about to see that happen here. We've got two super clams against Omega 3's one super clam. It looks like Omega. Uh, oh, and then the, the, the unreactable special oh. comes out. And. Ooh. Triple ink strikes. Oh, oh, so close. Very unfortunate. In the position that they were in, that's like, kind of makes sense. Um, hmm. 
Okay, oh. so. Let's see how the teams recover. It looks like Temporo Tantrum has 15. They are establishing quite a bit of ink control, but it looks fairly even. Will a team? Oh, there's a DC. Oh, no. On the side of. Oh, my. Dude, that's going to eat. If they. That is it. very unfortunate. Yeah. And it is outside of the standard, the standard yeah, time no, limit. I believe that means that we just continue the match. Uh, great and Kevin, can we get confirmation that we just continue the match, please? I'm going yeah, I mean, to. That was crazy to, to be. I mean, no, because the, the teams were super deadlocked. Like we were at 130 and no one had scored. Um, and now it, I it would really would require like the highest fragging possible out of this bamboo. Um, we need like a we need tri strikes to, to drop quads here. Um, yeah. Well, I will say. Having a teammate down is not an impossible challenge to overcome. I, uh, I've legitimately seen during a tournament having a teammate down where the team was still able to pull off the win through a Herculean effort. Oh yeah, yeah, no, dude, that's happened to my team before in a like, different <laughs> The other team I was trying not to, uh... I was trying not to go and um, boost my own ego, but it happened to mine as well. Um, okay, yeah, so I mean, there's there's not much more to say here. This is just a, a 4v3 without much of a chance. It's very unfortunate for the team, but it does look like Tempora Tantrum is going to go and cinch this victory. Um... Oh, they're striking. No, oh, oh, the strike's got one. Oh, That's we've got something. Are we making... Oh, that is... Oh, doesn't look oh, like it. Oh, oh, that was... That was quite the effort. A wipeout in the end. That hurts. Yeah, and that... That's... Uh... Yeah, that was like their primary slayer that, that went out too. That was just unfortunate. Um, so let's find out if... Uh... I assume, I mean, I assume he'll, that was just like a one-off and he'll be back. I agree, but we probably will need a minor intermission while we go and get that player back. Yeah, so, okay, so that was 2-2. Two, two. Like, I was asking earlier, like, what, what kind of decision do you make if you're um, Tempura Tantrum? Whatever they did, uh, whether it was the zap to support Nezu or it was sabotaging Frag's internet, but whatever adaptations they're doing, they should keep up because it's going well. Um, the question I have is, was were we seeing them make a change to their actual layout or were we seeing them making a change to their layout to adjust for the modes? The difference being, you know, were they, was it the modes that they were particularly good at, or was it the uh, layout? The layout, I would say, would give them a bit more, uh, would make this still anyone's match. Yeah, so right now, also, if you're Omega-3, right? So obviously you're salty that you had the DC, but True. also now you don't feel like the other team, like, outskilled you. You feel like you lost because of that. So do you feel like, are you more... Or do you feel better or worse going into game five? Mm. Well, if I'm Omega-3, I know I'm going to feel pretty good going into game uh, going into game five. But that's because I have a deep competitive streak. So if I'm just winning, like, yes, I do enjoy it because, hey, I love winning. But if I start losing... That brings out the competitive streak in me like nothing else and absolutely makes me want to get in there and show, no, 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 we are the best. So, I would say I would be starting to feel pretty hype because it, there's, there's that moment where you've got the, it's do or die, either you win or you lose, nothing else matters. You gotta rise to the challenge. Yeah, I mean the other the other thing at play here, right, is Omega Three has all the pressure because it, whether or not um, Tempura Tantrum wins it doesn't affect the uh, the playoffs. But Omega Three now has to be feeling it. True, true. They do have quite a bit at risk here. 
And this time I'm going to remember to fade on time. Oh, let's see, uh, let's see what happens in match five. Match five. Okay, so they went back to the comp that won them the first uh, game, which I, I, I think that makes a lot of sense, um, especially because this is another zones map. It was a pretty good comp. Having super chump, uh, having the in chump will be good for helping establish control over the zone. Yeah, they don't have a Zooka though, so we'll see if if uh, if that's. I mean, I guess that wasn't an issue before, but in theory, like having a Zooka is pretty good. And there, that Zooka just gets a pick, completely proving right. Oh, but then it dies. To, was that a Pokemon? Um, Nazi throwing the uh, toxic mist at the zone, but toxic mist is not paying for Um Mothman, I gotta throw out a hay for you. Orange Zap all the way. Okay. We got a Booyah Bomb out on uh, point, but it looks like Omega-3 is managing to hold it. I'm not some board tantrum okay. over through it. Oh, the flank gets called out. Oh, but yeah, okay, so they're 3-2. This is a, a lead swap here. Not, oh. Not, not on one. Um, oh, but then, oh, he's got, he's got the jet. Looks like Omega-3 managed to go and uh, flip control of the zone. As I called it earlier, it really does feel like these teams are pretty evenly matched. Yeah, I completely agree. Um, they have a Zooka ready. Let's see if uh, they can get some picks here. Looks like Omega-3 is holding position I uh, in front of the point, pushing Tempor of uh, Tantrum back into a very defensive position. Can yeah, they I hold it? Oh, oh. Zook is so clutch! Crane is so good at that! Oh, wow. That was a triple. That is a full white. Go, 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 go. Go, Nezu, go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Slinky with their bamboozler. I might have to ask oh, for yeah, some tips. Yeah, two go down the way. Oh, and then the whale is pushing. Okay. That's Ooh. That's all. That's beautiful special coordination by Omega Three. Completely gets the. Very true. Very true. Oh, but they, they actually haven't flipped the zone. Okay, there we go. They haven't, but they are heavily contesting it. Um, okay. So yeah. Um, oh, Creamy's goes down to the torp. Ooh, oh, oh, frag taking out the ink jet. Yeah, that's one thing about Blaster is it's like not afraid of the jets at all. Um, okay, let's see. He, he, I know I'm scared of it on my Splucho Matter. Oh, he, take, he gets, he, he, he gets a pick. He wins the one. BT going, BT going and surviving their skirmish attempt. Um, okay, the Zooka coming out. Does not find a pick, but they are able to slip the, Dude, this game is They do cool. manage to go and cap the point. They oh, have lost control. Is he going to die immediately to a blaster? No. All right. Uh, um. Oh. Okay, Nezu okay. taking out two with the two with the bucket. Three with the bucket. Nezu going in, being that bucket in your base that we all love and hate. Um, oh, that squid roll out of the way. Beautiful work there. Okay, so... Ooh. Oh, they, they, they don't manage to take the lead. They did the... the wow. Oh, my God. They got it. What, what just happened? How did they not flip? That... Honestly, this would be a match to me to review just to see what happened. Even though I'm sitting here watching it right now. This is no way, like, impressive work really from Tempura Tantrum. Dude, okay, Tempura Tantrum. Oh my, okay. Omega 3 is on their tournament life right now. Like, they, they, they need to come in and win this game immediately. <laughs> Well, I wonder okay, what 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 do they? I mean, okay. So obviously the the inkjet was working well, um, the bamboo was working well. What exactly went wrong for them? It seemed like they were just like losing, like in in key situations they were just getting picked like weirdly. I don't even think they like really like their. I don't think their their strategy was like bad or anything. I don't know. What what are you thinking? Mm -hmm. Honestly, I'm not quite sure. As I said during match, it this is legitimately a match that I would want to review. 
just so I can see what exactly happened. Because as I was watching it, I was seeing things happen. But I don't feel that I got a full understanding of the picture of what we were witnessing. And I, I think that legitimately is keeping me from making a good answer about what is happening. I hope that... I hope Omega-3 is not in the same situation that I am. That way they are able to uh, go and re-strategize and continue, uh, continue to apply that pressure. Not that I have favorites or anything, but as, I, as we've noted multiple times, they do have a lot riding on this set. Yeah, but no, I mean, you're allowed to root for a, uh, for a, a Game 7. I think that's perfectly fair. Um, I yeah. do, I am curious to see if there's, are, are there any bog beasts in the chat right now? <laughs> Watching this with bated breath. Um... Mothman earlier? I did see oh, Mothman yeah. earlier with the, uh, orange Inzap. <laughs> Inzap bros rise up. Also sploosh matic bros. We know where we belong. In the enemy base, killing them. All right, time for match six. This can either be the final match for Tempora Tantro, or it goes down to the final match, seven. I'm not seeing too many changes on Omega 3's end. Well, well, they they went from uh, they went back to Range Blaster. I do think this is a really good stage for Range Blaster. You can throw the uh, the Wave Breaker on the spine and just covers everything. Um, true, you, very you true. Bamboo, push up, not bothering to take snipe. Um, this is also this is a great stage for try. We know both teams have a try. Um, oh wait, Nezu just just slaughters their whole team, so you can do that. Oh, but he gets taken out in a trade. With the... Right? Okay. Looks like Tempora Tantrum taking the early lead. Yeah, the, the junior is popping off. I think that uh, Omega 3 junior just took out like three people. Um, ne except Ooh, Nezu ne took out Ren. Nezu took out Slinky. Oh, it's 1v1. Let's see what happens. Oh, he just gets on tower. Okay, so he has... Not a bad decision in all honesty. Yep, he popped it. Um, Creamy's riding the tower. Dude, this is this is starting to snowball. It, cre it, the Creamy seems to be aware that they are. Right. Hitting. Oh, they they broke the check. They broke checkpoint too. They have one checkpoint. Omega three at ninety six okay. points. Do you not? Oh, they okay. did take the tower though. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. Ren took okay. out Liz. Looks like we have a sound system going. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. So Omega-3 is back in, uh, th th they're in a good position. I mean, this stage yep, is so they just popped right? checkpoint one. Frag, frag is going out. Um, Liz tossing out the Booyah Bomb onto the tower. Team manages to uh, evac the tower just in time. Yeah, I don't know, like, that's, that's... Both those weapons are just so obnoxious, honestly, that, like, I don't really have any suggestions for either of those players. Um... I can't disagree. Slinky showing what- they've got what it takes to use a bamboozler. Okay, are they gonna get lead here? Omega 3- oh, no! Oh, they came very close! It looks like, hey, if they can go and fend off this push, they might be able to get it. Oh. Nezu takes the range offline, and now he's, uh, doing inkjet things. Tower back at mid. It looks like Tempora Tantrum's going and taking the tower. Dude, Nezu, this is exactly what Nezu did against us that was so scary, is he just, like, decides he's just gonna kill everyone sometimes. Um, okay, okay. Never Ooh, mind, Creamy is going down to that splat bomb. Several splat bombs. Okay, frag, fragging. Urs goes and pops the tower to send it back. I will say these scores are very close right now. Yeah, this is this is uh, this is like neither one of these scores is convincing me of anything. Right now. Both of these both of these teams are trying very hard. Okay. This is uh, why I can't have a favorite team. All of them are just too good. Okay. Nazu is 
Yeah, I, I, I don't know what needs to happen with that. that I've seen that range go down to the... The try the Rin trying to go in with the uh, try. Looks like they did go and manage to push okay. back Liz a bit. Oh, oh, that's checkpoint two popped. Oh. Nezu taking, going and pushing back the offensive. The, the, the oh. How are they going to contest that? Well, I guess BT's just going to contest it by just jumping oh. on and continuing. Okay. There goes Urs. There goes Slinky. Unfortunate. But that did go and get Tempora Tantrum closer to evening out the score. Tempora Tantrum 38. Frag or, a good pick. 31. Uh, Omega 3, 38. Frag getting another pick. Oh, no, he's not getting a pick. Okay, yeah, I got uh, Nezu. Uh, okay, Frag. Oh, Nezu getting taken down by Frag with the Range Blaster. Dude, this is like the most intense game I've ever seen. In not that I have anything against Nezu, but it is nice to see an Inkjet get taken out. That's so true. Oh, the suction bomb! Takes out the Tower Rider! That's stall- that's key! That's key stalling! I love no, seeing a good suction bomb. Okay, but now- Omega-3 fighting for these last okay. nine points. Yeah, okay. Fighting hard. Yes. Let's see, We've, the range oh. are putting- Oh, Nezu going down to frag. Okay. It looks like yeah. Tempora Tantrum is being pushed into a defensive position. There's Creamy's so trying to go and to lurk. To just throw at the tower endlessly. BT flanking. Let's see if he gets it. B he takes out the try. Ooh. He takes out the jump. That might be the end of the match oh, right is this, there. Is this the game? No, no, they get one more chance. No, they don't. That's a GG Booyah. That's game. That is game. And that is set as well. Okay, okay. So, obviously, both teams played really well. Unfortunately, Omega-3 did have a sub. I think Frag was obviously really good, and he was he was playing great at the end there, but he's not their usual teammate. So, they, they do have a John, for sure. Um, but, I mean, yeah, props to, to Tempura Tantrum. They they came back from being down 2-0. There was that unfortunate disconnect. They kind of... I, I feel like... Okay, I don't want to make excuses, but I do feel like that kind of, like, threw off Omega-3's groove. I, I think I would agree. Uh, the disconnect definitely did not help. I think, um, I don't know if I would go to say that that was the whole reason that we saw the set go the way that we did, but I do definitely think that, uh, disconnect did not help. Had the disconnect not occurred, I think, I, I legitimately think we might be sitting here watching, uh, uh, Wait, watching Definitely game seven. seven. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, oh, I, I, you never know. It's not like either team had scored at the point that the disconnect happened, but it's, it's, yeah. So, um, uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, every, okay, everybody played really well. Like, I saw, I mean, the, the juniors were popping off, zaps were popping off, blasters were popping off, buckets were popping off. Um, that, that last game in particular was just so back and forth. I do think that Omega-3 was in control for most of the end, but they just could not overcome the suction bombs. I don't know. Yeah, I would agree with that. And suction bombs on tower control should be illegal. Is that, Those things are far too good on that <laughs> mode. Yeah, th there's definitely been times where uh, where my team, the Viscous Krillers, where we just like decide that, that like it's time to just only throw bombs at the tower and do nothing else, and it's disgusting how effective it is. But, um, yeah, I mean, I, like, I get that. I mean, it's pretty heartbreaking for Omega-3, honestly, because they, like, you, you know they're not. You you know they don't feel like they got to really play the set that they that they would have played because of, you know, the disconnect and because of the, the, uh, um, the sub. But, you know, they had a great season. They, they won a bunch of sets. They did. They they showed off their their stuff, and hopefully they'll they'll be back for next next tournament. I definitely hope so. I have to say, both teams, regardless of the outcome that we all watched, uh, both teams played exceptionally well, and I'm not going to say that I had a favorite because, as I said earlier, just watching the teams as they're playing and seeing how they play together. That's the best part, and it's hard to pick a favorite when you 
see how well they're all playing and seeing seeing the teams as they were oh that was fantastic they did a wonderful job and i uh i wish the best for them as the tournament continues omega three i am sorry oh it looks like uh the teams are going into i believe the uh spectator mode or wait no 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 this wouldn't be spectator this uh are they are they getting yeah, they're, to they're do a rematch recon. no they're, it's it's recon mode they're doing drip picks which is me gotcha. i leave because i am not doing drip picks with them i don't um, think they could take photos in this but oh well uh we are uh baby we're trapped oh God. i can't you're right i can't leave that's okay rude but whatever <laughs> <laughs> but um I will say in the chat, I hope you guys enjoyed this match. Be sure to congratulate both teams on what it was a very excellent set. And uh, I hope you all have a wonderful day tomorrow. That all being right. said. And now the, yeah, we, we can sign off the stream. We don't need a stream that drift fix. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everyone. Good night and goodbye.